Hello and welcome to The Flower Box. I am Katrina and I am dressed from head to toe in my prom gear. I am in a coral dress with my hair done and my makeup. That's not every day you see that, so. Today we will be learning how to make a corsage for prom. Prom season is upon us and we know that corsages can be pretty spendy, especially when you're using uh, fresh flowers. They could range from $20 to $30 just for one night use. So I used uh, just artificial flowers in mine so it will last forever. I also made a matching boutonniere for this video and there'll be a surprise at the end so stay tuned. Okay, so for today's materials you'll be needing an elastic band um, this one has gold accents since I'm going with a gold accent color. My uh, dress is so coral that uh, I thought gold would be pretty to go with it. And this is the bracket that help support the corsage once it's made. I have some gold leaves that will be really pretty with the coral color. Um, these will go on the bottom of the corsage and make it pop better. They're really pretty. I have 26 gauge wire. The larger the number in wire is, the smaller it is. Uh, this is very flexible and easy to work with when working with small things. And I just got and I got a spool of it, so. This will actually be for the matching boutonniere we're gonna be doing. This is the floral tape. It stretches and when you stretch it and attach it to itself, it sticks to itself. So the more you stretch it, the more it will stick to itself. We will be needing some scissors for ribbon, some wire cutters and snippers. These are really fun. These are spray rhinestones and uh, they come in a bundle. You can pull them apart and you can kind of design them however you like. Also, these are in gold for the accent color. Uh, some coral flowers and they have rhinestones in the middle. They're super pretty. They don't match uh, completely with the dress, which I believe in uh, not matching at all because the corsage will pop out more and some white flowers as well. I'm sorry, I should have told you that I'm using artificial flowers for this video because I believe fresh flowers shouldn't die for nothing. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Uh, this is the ribbon that I will be using. It's a sparkly gold ribbon. I will be using three ribbons for this corsage. One for the base, one for the middle, and one for the top. This will be the top. It's more of a sparkly gold. This will be the middle ribbon that we will be using. It's a sheer cream color. It's kind of off-white. And I will be using white for the base. It's a satin. So. Okay, let's get started. So what you'll be doing is taking your white base ribbon and you will be making a loop with your fingers, pinching the ribbon together. And then you take the head of it and you twist it all the way around. Okay? So after what you're done twisting it all the way around, you will have a loop kind of like this. This is the tail of it and this is attached to the spool still. So what you will be doing is taking the one attached to the spool and making the same exact loop. You want it to be the same size because if it's longer, it will look pretty wonky. So you want it to be about the same size. Right about there, you kind of judge it by your eye, I guess. And you want to take that and you want to twist it around like that and bring it to the other side. 
okay? Now you want to keep repeating this process. So you just kind of, um, you bring it over and you twist it and pull. See how I have equal amounts of ribbon on each side? Well, we want to keep doing this until you make a small bow. All right, well I feel like that's big enough for me. So I take my ribbon, or not my ribbon, I'm sorry, my wire, and I stick my wire through the middle loop that we started with, and I twist. Take my wire here, if I can find it, and I twist. There we go, so there's our base of the corsage, nice and fluffy. I'm gonna snip that off. There we go. So there's the base, and now I'm gonna start working on the middle part. So here we're gonna take the hot glue gun. Yes, it's in pink, awesome. So it's a mini glue gun and mini glue sticks come with it. I feel like this is the best glue gun to use for small little petite projects like this. So what we're gonna do is take our ribbon that we made just now. We're gonna take the base here and the middle. We're gonna place the middle <laughs> the middle ribbon inside the middle of the base. So, what I mean is you're gonna divide the base here into half and take your middle and put it in the middle of the half, like so. And then you're gonna take the wire and you're just gonna twist. Like so. So there we go, we got the middle and the base attached to each other. Now you just kind of want to fluff it up like that. And then here comes the fun part. The top, the glitter sparkles will go on top of the middle. So like we did from the base and the middle, we're gonna place the top on top of the middle So this is my bunch of wires on the bottom and I'm going to kind of fluff up my corsage now. I'm going to make the base kind of show from the bottom here 
fluff it up. I don't like these little parts here, so I'm gonna clip them off with my scissors here. So now we have our basic corsage here. We have a bottom, a middle, and a top. Okay, we're gonna take our little accent leaves here. Super golden pretty, woo! And we're going to glue them together. So we're gonna take these and opposite ends kind of like this and just glue them like an X. 